What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm in Mallorca. I've just checked into this hotel room, which is going to be my home for the next 48 hours. Two days ago, I flew to Barcelona with Alex, collected two V8 Aston Martin DB11s and then met up with Ollie White here in Mallorca after a seven and a half hour ferry. I had planned to film that 24 hours, which the video didn't really go too well. So we find ourselves here. And this video is something slightly different, something I've never really done before. It is kind of like a tech review or a comparison. I'm gonna be comparing my new Samsung, which I got four days ago, to my iPhone 7 Plus, which I've had for about a year. It's quite topical at the moment with the new iPhones coming out, and I want to make a video as to why I switched to the Samsung, whether it's something that I have felt natural doing, or whether I'm just gonna go back to an iPhone. I'm a massive, iPhone fanboy. Samsung have not paid me to do this video. I'm spending my own money owning this phone, but I was very tempted by the camera and the specs when I compared it to the Apple iPhone X. So over the next 24 hours, I'm gonna bring you guys in on the adventure. I'm gonna be vlogging on both of these phones and then labeling the clips as to so that you can make up your own mind as to whether which one has a better camera, which one has better video and everything like that. And hopefully give you guys into an insight into what it is like to switch from an iPhone that I've been using for about eight years to a Samsung. Right, okay, so we are now headed to lunch. I'm by myself at the moment, out the front of the hotel and using my iPhone. But let me explain a little bit as to a background into my iPhone customer history, but also why I switched to the Samsung. So I've owned a lot of iPhones. I bought an iPhone 3G, I bought an iPhone 3GS. At this point, I was still running a BlackBerry. Up until the iPhone 5 and the 5S's, that's when I started having two iPhones. And since then, I've always had two iPhones, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, now to the iPhone 7 Plus. I've got two iPhone 7 Pluses and I was due an upgrade. I saw an article on Lad Bible which was comparing specs to the Samsung S8 Plus and the iPhone X and the Samsung was superior. And I know that there are a lot of Samsung fanboys out there that have been telling me this for years, that Samsung are ahead of Apple when it comes to technology. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna to upgrade to the Samsung and I'm gonna start comparing the two phones. So over the years, I've become a massive Apple fanboy, but on their 10th anniversary, I couldn't quite bring myself to get excited about the new iPhone. The phone that they said was gonna revolutionize the next- Oh, oh no! <laughs> I was in my zone! <laughs> oh no! I was trying to creep behind you so you couldn't see me. You nearly got me, man. Nearly got you. Nearly. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Ollie, by the way. He's been doing that for the last 24 hours. <laughs> but I was not excited about the iPhone X and all of its features that were, they were saying were gonna revolutionize the, ten, the next 10 years like they did on the original iPhone. So that was it. I was converted to a Samsung device. But throughout this video, I will tell you the story and the journey and also my thoughts as to how good I think the Samsung phone is. But now I'm gonna flip this camera around and use its dual camera to try and shoot, to try and shoot some of the scenes that we've got around us. Rolling on the Samsung. Mr. Ollie White, what phone do you use? Uh, I have the iPhone 7 Plus. Well, this one I got the iPhone 6 Plus and the Google phone. But I was, say, I was saying to you yesterday, I think the Google phone is, the Google Pixel is amazing. I think it's a great phone. I think I'm just scared to switch over because just everything works together. I'll do something on my iPad, it will sync to my, exactly. my iPhone, my Mac, and that is my, literally my only issue why I haven't switched to anything else. Because you've got all of the products that are exactly. Apple. Exactly. And is that the same as you? 100%. MacBook Pro, iPhone 7, airdrop between two photos. Yeah, just airdrop, so it's just, airdrop's just, airdrop's just, like, it's the best thing yeah. ever. Getting okay, all those angles of the ribs. I'm just testing my camera out. <laughs> oh, this looks good. we got some pops. Steak. Just want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuffed now. That's some of the best lunch I've ever had. 
We're now back at the hotel, and this is the first time that I've actually taken a look at the pool area. It is beautiful up here. I'm using the front-facing camera now on my Samsung. Whilst I chat to you about what it was like to actually transferring over to a Samsung, and it was fairly easy. I'll be honest, it was fairly easy. Essentially, Samsung comes with a little USB adapter so that I can attach my iPhone to this. The Samsung then scans my iPhone's data, content, pictures, everything and then I pick and choose what I'd want to transfer over. So it is super easy to switch. Now the difficult thing is getting used to the Samsung interface, Android and everything else because that is something that obviously I'm not used to. I'm used to the simplicity, the fluidity and the ease of use that is the iPhone. And I have to say, the Samsung is a little bit tricky to get used to but I can imagine if you were a Samsung user for 10 years and then tried switching to iPhone, it would be quite tricky. I think it would be a little easier I kind of compared it to if I gave my mum an iPhone to get used to and a Samsung, it would take her less time to get used to the iPhone because it is just that ease of use. But in terms of apps, in terms of accessibility, the Samsung is up there with Apple. The one thing that I would say about the Samsung is that the Twitter app sucks. But apart from that, everything is perfect and the camera is vastly better. Hopefully this video, as I'm rendering it out, I haven't actually looked at it, I'm literally filming as I go within this day, um, it's looking much better on the uh, Samsung. So, thumbs up for Samsung. It's been quite a while since I tried to transfer anything onto my iPhone. We're gonna give it a go, just to see whether it will work. Allow. It has been a while since I tried to transfer anything over from my phone to the computer, from my iPhone to the computer, but so far, I think we've got them. It is now time to drive the DB11. This is the V8 powered DB11, the brand new, featuring the new badge at the back. Clear tail lights as an option and dodgy parking. The reason for this. That was loud. The reason for this dodgy parking is originally I did squeeze it into this space, but was worried that a little car would try and squeeze in between a tree and a DB11 and then therefore opening their door onto the beautiful morning frost white paint on this car. Shut up. What an awful sounding engine. So then I realized actually I want to protect this car seeing as it's not mine. So I did this parking, which looks selfish, but has the car's best interest at heart. So the Samsung's rolling the first time that we've used it inside. And I think now that we are driving this car, the car that we've come all of this way to drive, and whilst I can't talk about what it is like to drive, it is a beautiful car. Whilst we're in the car, I'm gonna try and summarize and put into as few or as simplest words as possible as to why, even though I have got a Samsung and will keep a Samsung, I will never make that full transition away from iPhone. And I think the biggest thing for me is yes, Apple are now behind in the race of technology. They're releasing things that they're claiming is innovative when in fact Samsung and other competitors are producing at a much faster rate. It just seems that when Apple launched that technology on the iPhone, the fluidity and ease of use and the ease of the interface means that it just feels better, crisper, richer, which is why I love the iPhone so much. Whilst the Samsung has got a bunch of gimmicks, and to be honest, I've flicked most of them off because I think they're completely pointless. What I love about the Samsung is the camera and yes the iphone x is going to have a camera that probably will rival the samsung s8 plus but samsung are just that step ahead because the s9 will come out 
and all of the other competitors. I know that I'm missing out on so many competitors. Like the Google Pixel 2, I think it's called, the LG, even the Samsung Note 8 that has got a dual camera on the back. All of these phones now rival the iPhone when it comes to technology, which four or five years ago, that was never a thing. When iPhone bought the first iPhone out, it really did revolutionize the way that we use mobile phones. And for Apple to claim that the iPhone X is gonna do that this time round, and one of the biggest things that they're talking about is animated emojis, I just did not believe it and thought it was honestly a load of crap. For now, the Samsung is providing a little variety in my life that I'm thoroughly enjoying. And I can't believe that I've actually gone this far without sort of mucking up or something because this road is incredibly tight. Oh, but the Aston sounds so good. It sounds so good. So we're on the island of Mallorca. I thought that I would do a quick iPhone versus Samsung user experience from me as I have tried to make the transition and have enjoyed it. It's been a load of fun and I will continue documenting everything if you guys want to see it on YouTube and on Twitter and Instagram because it is so interesting and there's just such a hot debate between Samsung fanboys and iPhone fanboys and now I can be proud to say that I'm a member of them both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't really know how I was going to make this video but I knew the appetite was there and the demand was so high because Twitter, every time I posted a picture from the Samsung or talked about it, there was just huge interest and people wanted to see just the difference in terms of how I'm coping with the adjustment and hopefully this video has done that but also what the camera differences are like on the iPhone versus the Samsung. So there it is, it's not really a tech review, it's not really tech specs. If you wanna check out the different specs versus Samsung and iPhone, then head over to Google. All I wanted to do was show you in my real world of vlogging with amazing cars on incredible islands such as Mallorca, just how different those phones can be. And also document for anyone that is thinking about moving away from iPhone to Samsung, just do it. I mean, if you want to and you want a bit of a change, like there will be that transition period when you're not completely comfortable with the phone that you're using, but you'll get there, you'll get used to it as is everyone gets used to the phone that they're on every single day. But moving forward, if you guys do want to see more videos, how I'm getting on with the Samsung versus the iPhone in different scenarios, there are some awesome trips coming up. I'm going to be driving some insane cars. So if you do want to see more Samsung versus iPhone, 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 in different capacities, then please let me know in the comment box below and let me know if you think I'm mad. Like, should I have gone from an iPhone to a Samsung or are there Samsung users out there that think, should I have even been with iPhone in the first place? Let me know. Let me know whether you've liked this video by giving it a like and subscribe if you haven't already because there is gonna be a couple more videos coming from this trip, one of them including driving impressions on the DB11, but tomorrow I'm gonna be vlogging as we head to one of the most famous points in the island that is just known for being beautiful. So we're gonna take both of the Aston Martins there, I'm gonna get this camera up and running, and right now I'm just transferring all of the files from the phones over to my computer so that I can crack on with editing. So thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Cheers, guys.